Hello and welcome to this Digital Tutors training kit on next generation gaming techniques with XSI. My name is Kyle Green and I'm going to be taking you through the first half of this training kit in which we'll be exploring XSI as a tool for taking things like our high resolution models and being able to transfer that kind of data and that high resolution uh, imagery down to a low resolution game ready model and we'll take a look specifically at how we can use normal maps from that high resolution character that have been transferred using XSI's tremendous ultimapper capabilities. So we'll take a look at how we can use those normal maps and actually be able to preview that normal map on our low resolution model. So using things like OpenGL previews to see exactly what this normal map will look like once it's been applied to our character. Now once we have a good idea of how this detail is going to be applied to our low resolution game character. We'll take a look at how we can go into Photoshop and also use Photoshop in combinations with XSI to be able to see exactly what all this information looks like on our low resolution game character. So textures, being able to bake the ambient lighting onto your textures themselves, taking a look at what these look like with the normal maps applied to them, all while staying within XSI. So we'll also take you through the texture painting process in Photoshop, so how we can take these maps that have been generated in XSI and then use Photoshop to be able to paint uh, texture detail and facial detail and really bring a lot of color and life to this character. Now from here we'll go back to XSI and take a look at how we can actually create a walk cycle animation for this character and not only that, but how we can take that walk cycle and then bring that perfectly into our final game engine, at which point Mr. Sunder Iyer will be taking over for the second half of this training kit and walking you through how we can get this model from XSI into the Ogre open source game engine. So we'll build step by step over exactly how we can take this model into the Ogre game engine and really just completely build this game engine up to display everything that we need or in some cases anything that we don't need. And then finally we'll get into using Ogre for creating things like parallax mapping and normal mapping to be able to be viewed in real time inside your game engine. So we've got a lot to cover in the course of the next few hours, so let's go ahead and get started.